players would have been schooled by their coaches about the importance of this fixture. Dunbar Holden making two changes from last week's starting roster that lost 3-1 to Cavalier. Ricardo Thomas and Brand Burkett in for Akimo Jones and Shavoy Watkins. Stephen Barnett, seven goals so far this season in the number 17 shirt, their leading scorer. Portmore would have made a whopping five changes to their starting roster that drew Nilo with Chapleton in their last game. Gawain Austin, Tim Shaw, Aki Mullings and the St. Lucians, Alvinus Myers and Lester Joseph in for Rodolph Austin who's out on cards. Saquon Satra, Lamar Walker, Jaheim Fraser and Tevin Scott Walker. Chris Taylor surprisingly on the bench today for Portmore. Well he's not even listed on the bench, Lamar Walker is. He is actually on the bench though. Yeah. Second match of the double header at the Ashenheim Stadium. Emilio Rosso cracks one from left side to the near post, but Damien Hatt gets in the way and blocks the Portmore number six, who goes again for a strike here from a spot kick. Dunwell Holden had their moments, that one headed over the top. Here comes Akeem Mullings with a cross. Header attempted by Marshall. Slides wide on the left upright. Damien Hatt appeared in goal to have had it covered though. Dunbar Holden pressing forward. Brown with a header on goal, but team. Scott out muscles Fabian McCarthy here for the ball. Slides the ball between the legs of Damien Hatt. And that gave Portmore the one lead that they worked hard for. Scott's second goal of the season. First goal in four months in the Premier League. Going for more glory here, Scott, but the header tamed. Header on goal by Young, but amazingly he misses the target from the six-yard box. Walsh with a terrific strike. Damien Hatt with a fine save for the left-sided dive. Marshall cracks one from 22 yards out, but it goes high. Sondra Holden looking for the rebound. Walsh forcing his way forward now. And Damien Hatt bobbles the ball, loses control of the ball. Walsh alert, snatches the opportunity and makes Damien Hatt pay for a real sloppy job in goal for Dunbar Holden. Tune of the scoreline here for Portmore at this point. Walsh scores his first goal in the Premier League this season. Walker fires one on goal. What a strike from Walker. Inches wide. He's disappointed. Yeah, Hatt caught the attention there. Look at this strike from Dean Andre Thomas. A quick turn. A rifled right footed shot. Gives Williams no chance. And Don Beholden here are back in business with this 83rd minute strike. At this point, it's 2 1 in Portmore's favor. But Marshall would set things here. Dribbles away from challengers and then thumps his right footed shot past the outstretched glove of Damien Hatt. Gets the glove to it, but not a strong enough glove. Glove and it's 3 1 to Portmore. And they win it. This is Catherine Darby. A shot attempted on goal by Don Behold and three on target. 15 attempted by Portmore, six on target. 33 fouls in the match, 20 of them committed by Portmore players. Four yellow cards in the match, three of them for Portmore players. Six corners Portmore forced to Don Behold and two. Portmore's Williams called on to make two saves. Don Behold and goalkeeper making three saves, Damien Hatt. And it's Don Behold and who had more ball possession at 57% but the score at the top is the one that counts. Portmore 3-1 over Dunbar Holden and the St. Catherine Derby. Emilio, another big result for Portmore, another win and another solid performance by yourself. You really seem to be enjoying your football out there. Yes, um, we came here for the three points and we get it. We um, put out a wonderful team performance and 
we go to goal as much today and we get three goals from it. Another assist for you, and obviously you've been given the responsibility of all the dead ball kicks, all the corners as well. How important is it for you, match after match, to put these telling balls into the box for your attackers and for your forwards? Yes, um, I have to deliver some balls so we can score a goal. Um, for, from, from the season start, we've been struggling for, from go, in goal scoring, so as much as I can put the ball in, in the box, I will do it and hopefully we get more goals going forward. And how impressed are you by your team's overall performance, especially with so many changes coming into your starting lineup for today? Yes, today I think we have a wonderful um, team performance. We share the ball a lot and it pay off. All right, Emilia, congrats on another solid performance and an assist as well. <laughs> um, go well and get some rest. Yeah, thank you.